Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and for today's video, this is only an update for the video I made last December about the propagation of the variegated portolaca in the um, turtle vine calicia repens. So this is what she is now guys for two months. So as you can see, it is very lush and... It's going to trail, but I'm planning to propagate it again. It's because I don't like um, the view and the image because as you can see, there is a big gap here, as you can see, and here as well. So I'm planning to cut it again and propagate it. I will insert the previous photo of this when I propagated it last last December. And um sad news guys, the propagation of the portalaca the varig the variegated portalaca I made last December was a fail. It's because that month that year kasi last year it's um the weather here in our um place it's always raining most of the time it's always raining and we have also chickens here so the chicken some of the propagation of the portulaca was eaten and some was rotted rot because of the rain i just left it outside that's why it died and I'm sorry guys, it was a fail, but um, propagating portolaca is very easy. It's just my fault of being negligent of my plant. And this one guys, this is a very easy plant. This tur turtle vine plant, this is a very easy one. Because you can just cut it and stick it on the soil and it will grow. And you can put it in direct sunlight. Mine, I put it in direct sunlight and it really thrives and grow and it looks really healthy. I will insert some videos here. All of the per um, no, all of the turtle vines I have here. By the way, guys, this turtle vines pala, I got this from the Panabu Public Market. Um those um in the vendors near the Panabo Park. They sell many plants there, um, rare, common, and I found this, and it's it was only 50 pesos. It was already lush. And because I really wanted to try and propagate, so I tried. I did cut one to two inches, or I just like do that, like this. And you can just stick it on the soil And it will grow, guys. It's, it really, it is really easy. And what I'm going to do now, guys, I will cut this off, all of it. And I will restart this one. Because I want, I want it to become lush and not leggy as this one. So, let's start. Hello guys, I just want to introduce to you our new pet her name is yoshi and she is with me most of the time because she's just a baby see how cute she is you want to help me propagate this one baby you want to <laughs> so anyway guys <laughs> sorry um it's just a segue it's just our new pet and this is what it is now, the turtle vines or Calicia repens. So, I have here my um, cleaning tools. This is the alcohol 70% solution. And I have here the scissors. 
So, I'm going to clean it first before I will cut the turtle buns to avoid bacterial infection or anything that there's in there's in or anything that can cause bacterial or fungal infection of your plants so let's cut one to two inches like that and so on and so forth You can cut as many as you want. It is very easy to grow. You can water it or you can if your soil is already wet. You um you don't need to water. If your soil is dry, you must water it and put it on if it's if you just recently or you just planted it, you can put it in the shady area or um wait um one to two days before you put it or Place it on the direct sunlight. But mine, sometimes I I try to experiment, guys. So, um, I did place it right away in direct sunlight. So, it's it thrived for me. It grow for me. So, it doesn't matter. In my side, ha. But I don't know to, to your location, to your area. But better, guys, to be safe. Put it on the shady, shade, shady area first before... Putting it on or placing it in the direct sunlight. Okay. Um. You can water it. Um. Two twice, twice a week. I think if the soil is dry, you can water it. If not, no need. Um. Disclaimer, guys. I'm not a plant expert i'm just sharing you my experience on how i grow mine my plants if kung malapit lang kayo guys i can give you this i can give you some cuttings or i have many outside you can have one if you want This plant is very nice guys if you put it on the hanging plant because it really it will really trail and it looks pretty so here are the cuttings I got from the big plant here earlier so these are the cuttings and these are the leftover guys. Kinalbo ko na siya guys. But don't worry guys. I will still plant this and it will still grow. As you can see the roots, it's very healthy. See? And the soil I use on this plant is only garden soil. Pure garden soil. This is the soil. Pure, pure garden soil. Um, You can try... You can try humus as well guys. It will it is also good for, for plants too. And yeah. I will plant it here and I will show you later how it looks. And yeah. I'm using stick to make a hole and stick. Stick the turtle vine here. Make a hole again through this barbecue stick. It's not clear, guys, because it's a bit dark. These are the propagated turtle vines. As you notice, I use recycled cup noodles and recycled milk can. This is really old, guys. So don't mind, please. Um, it doesn't matter to me because I can still use it. 
a spot for my plants so I don't care and this is not recycled obviously this is just a plastic one I bought this from Suhao department store in Panabo for only 10 pesos so here they are and let's wait and see the next update on how they will grow and thrive guys if they will really thrive or it, if they will die let's see in the future videos i will make so that's it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching and i hope you like this video and if you find this video interesting and if you learn some of the tips please don't hesitate to like and subscribe and you can share it to your friends guys if you want so that's all thank you so much bye bye <laughs>